Hey folks, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and as you saw on the thumbnail, of course, we're looking at this today. We've got a hatchet, axe, whatever you want to call it. You know, it's over a foot long, so I like to call it an axe instead of a hatchet. Uh, but it's only like about 14 inches, roughly. So, yeah, it's a hatchet. And it could be an axe. <laughs> Made by Ganzo. Uh, Ganzo has this model. This is the first model that they came out with. This is the GSA01-YE. And now they've got the second model, which is their Firebird model, which is the exact same thing, just a different label. Instead of GS, it's FSA01-YE. Exact same machine, uh, <laughs> machine, the exact same device, all the exact same options and everything, the same thing. Now, there is something that's not very not very unique at all about this hatchet axe and that is the way that it's made you can find this exact same style of uh, axe head and handle mounted the exact like built together made exactly the same way under fisker's brand name under gerber's brand name the gerber knives not gerber baby food <laughs> And then there's other knockoff names, uh, Y for all, or yes, sir, for, yes for all, that's what it is. And Wake, was it Wakeman? Yeah, Wakeman. And there could be other brands out there as well that have the exact same system, built the exact same way, uh, just like a lot of things out there come in multiple different brand names. So now let's talk about the details of this thing. We've got an axe head made out of 3CR13 stainless steel. Uh, that is the same as 420J2, also often known as 420 stainless steel, which is the same as AUS4, AUS4. Uh, all of those are very much the same. Don't confuse uh, that with 420HC. 420HC is the steel that Buck uses for the majority of their knives. That's high carbon. That's what the HC stands for. It's a different steel, uh, harder and better for knives. 3CR13 has a Rockwell hardness, uh, low 50s up to about 55, 52 to 55 generally, and that's perfect for an axe head or a hatchet head. If you get too much harder, then you know you also have that brittleness that you get when you, the higher you get to hardness, unless you get to some really high end steels that you know get rid of some of that brittleness. Uh, so 3CR13, great steel for an axe head. I've used this thing to chop, oh, it's chopped through at least 50 logs. You know, that's multiple strikes sometimes. And you barely have a little bit of wear on the uh, coating that they have on here. So there's a coating on this axe head and the edge isn't damaged at all. It's uh, very much like it was brand new. Effective without the finger off. Yeah, don't don't break your, don't cut your fingers off. That'd be good for the review, though. for whittling. So it's comfortable in the hand there like mm -hmm. that? It is. Because of the push. Because of this, right? This yeah. angle right here. And it's this ABS type of plastic handle, and I'm not sure exactly how it looks in here, how the steel goes, but the magnet says that it sort of ends right there. So it's an axe head, uh, very much, you know, the way you think it would be shaped in here. There's a bit of a hole here you can use to hang it up, 
there's holes back here that you can add in a lanyard strap to go around your wrists so when you're chop chopping it can't go flying nice flare back here and it flares a little bit out this way as well so it flares in all directions and that helps keep it in your hand when you're chopping and it is quite secure in the hand i hit the wood on here on purpose and uh you know under strike or over strike i should say and you know it doesn't you can't even see where i hit it well maybe one little mark right there but very strong so i like this abs plastic a lot so it's a good hatchet uh, just over three inches uh what is that eight centimeters 3.17 inches which is quite good uh, around an inch tall and half an inch wide that's about three a little over both of those measurements it's about three centimeters and a centimeter and a half so a little over an inch a little over half an inch and how much does this thing weigh well 707 grams like this uh, that is just over one and a half pounds and then you got uh, 1.8 something pounds which is 841 grams if you add this sheath and we'll talk more about that later but you don't just have a hatchet here you have a saw as well now this saw probably is the same 3CR13 steel, uh, 420J2 steel for the, the uh, saw blade. Uh, by, by cutting, that means it cuts on the push and the pull, uh, straight through uh, the steel comes right back up to here. So it's a nice, not quite full tang, but very close. And you get a little bit of jimping in the ABS plastic right there. That same kind of grip texture that you have on the hatchet right there and it holds fairly well I wish it was on an angle and you'll see that when I show you a video of me using this so uh, this is a piece of pine or spruce I'm not quite sure uh, just commercial hardware wood uh, building wood so it's like from a from a 2 by 12 or 2 by 10 let's see how well it cuts Having a straight handle off the blade is a bit awkward, but uh, it's not too bad. So there you go, nice clean cut. At the beginning, the cut's a little bit rough, but it got much cleaner afterwards. And it didn't bind or pinch at all. Pretty good saw blade. Just uh, since it only fits straight through there, you get what you get. Of course, it's not uh, trying to be a premium saw blade. It's just being an accessory that uh, it might come in handy just in case. This is not to replace your saw for your camp out, but it's an it's an alternative in case you lose your saw, break your saw, whatever happens, it's a half decent saw. Thinner at the spine than it is at the teeth so that it doesn't bind when you cut. It's actually a pretty decent little saw blade. And it's held in place with these snaps. And uh, when it is in place, it doesn't uh, rattle or make noise or get in the way at all. So let me put it back in here. And uh, you know, that snap holds nice and snugly. So let me see, you can't hear it. It's you know, nicely held in there. So really, really good. Uh, I don't have any video of using the hammer end, but it works good for tent pegs and such. You know, it works quite well. I like it. It's a great um, length of handle. It's a good camp tool. Let's talk about the sheath a little bit. ABS plastic again, I think it's fiber reinforced. Uh, you've got a little lever here that you flip over and it holds the axe head in here so you go to use it that way um, and then this little tab here holds it as well it holds fairly securely you've got a handle here so you can carry it on the handle if you just want to carry it in your hand and this belt loop if you want to carry it on your belt when you buy it it comes rotated 90 degrees this way and there's little uh, a bunch of detents in there well not balls but little marks so that when it's in this spot it's it's locked in place you have to undo the screw to move it but what you have is a little torx screw here 
with a Torx head on this side and a Torx head on this side and it's a soft steel and it's stripped out right away when I tried to use it so I you know cleaned it up drilled it out a little bit and put this bolt with this nut on here to replace it it's unfortunate that you need to do that but so perhaps you know if you put this in a little bit of a vise or hold it somewhere and you use two screwdrivers you might be able to get it to undo enough so that you loosen it you know rotate it to this angle and then you know use it if you're not going to use the belt loop then I would suggest you just take it right off and you know leave it gone because you know, if it's on this angle here it's just a tiny bit extra weight you might as well not use it uh, so the sheath is actually pretty good one extra thing that's in there is this a short little ferrocerium rod and it's functional it works quite well um, let me show you you don't strike it using the axe at all I use the saw blade instead and I use the spine of the saw blade and just you know pull forward and it sparks quite well for a short little ferrocerium rod and that's quite hand that can come in quite handy for the most time you know it's just going to sit here and be something that's you know just in case so I didn't want to make this video too long but what are my general feelings of this thing well my general feelings are since this thing is made by Gerber yeah Gerber you can find this knife this knife you can find this hatchet made exactly like this you know different colors by Gerber you can find the exact same thing made by Fisker's brand name and those are two high-end well sort of high-end Fisker's is sort of higher-end brand name uh, so what I think is this is these are all these different brands are made at one factory which is also the factory that Ganzo has their st stuff made at or at least their hatchets and that's another thing that gives me a good feeling that this thing's made very well I did whack it around quite hard and it is quite durable there's other brand names budget brand names that have these things you've got yes for all that's a brand name that has this you've got Wakeman you can find this exact same thing under that brand and all four of those brands you can get them all at amazon.com just where you can get this as well so I'll have links down below for amazon.com amazon.de amazon.co.uk and amazon.ca hopefully I can find them at the Canadian site as well so you can get this in whatever brand you want and uh, I think it's a really good device uh, well this is a good device like it's a good hatchet uh, you've got um, would I suggest this as your main hatchet well if you're a guy who goes camping once a year or less or something like that yeah definitely this is great for your main hatchet uh, if you're a guy who likes to create different bug out bags that you have in multiple places this is a nice low budget thing to put in those bags so that you've got something available when you're going to need it um, because chances are very low that you're going to be able to put in a high-end axe or hatchet in each one of your bug out bags uh, even if you just have you know one bug out bag you, know, you just can only have so many things at high end and for a budget price I think this is a really good choice it works well it feels well it's a good weight it um, you know strikes very well the cuts really well splits wood it's you know the wedge is at a good angle uh, it's easy to sharpen and it looks good how much does this thing cost you're looking at under 30 US dollars uh, 27.95 right now US in uh, amazon.com uh, some of the other brands are a little bit less like the yes for all I think is a little bit yet less and maybe the Wakeman's a little bit less of course Fiskers and Gerber are a little bit higher so you can get something good for a fairly good price this is a good kind of thing to have around um, and because uh, sometimes you just need to make some fire and a hatchet is much better than always using a knife to baton with uh, because it's going to get less tiring you can swing better the weight differential is you know way better than you know a, 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 a chopper kind of knife or whatever and it costs less than a good chopper knife a good chopper knife you know costs as much as three or four or five or more of these and so really good touch to have and then you've got a hammer on the other end so you can strike in tent pegs you can use it to crush things you know all kinds of different touches so there you go I like this it looks good it works good 
it uh, carries well on the belt. And, you know, thanks for watching my video. Thanks for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And uh, remember, guys, always chop towards your chums. Well, actually have them a safe distance away and not towards your thumbs. <laughs> that would be painful. Till next time, have a good one, guys.